Factor by grouping. z cubed minus 12 plus 4z squared minus 3z. Again, I'm going to rewrite the polynomial below so that I can focus on it. If we look at the first group, z cubed minus 12, that doesn't have anything in common except 1. Let's pull out a 1 just to see what happens. It leaves us with z cubed minus 12. Now let's look at the second group. We've got 4z squared minus 3z. Both of those contain a z, so I'm going to pull out a z. And when I do, the leftovers are going to be 4z minus 3. Now if we look at the things in parentheses, we have z cubed minus 12, and we have 4z minus 3, and these are very different. which is a problem. In the previous polynomials, when we were factoring by grouping, we ended up with the same factor inside the sets of parentheses, and this allowed us to pull it out as the GCF among the groups. But in this case, the two groups don't have anything in common, so we can't proceed. That doesn't mean that the polynomial can't be factored. What it means is that it can't be factored in the form that it's in. What we're going to do is we're going to rearrange, or we're going to regroup. We're going to move the terms in a different order and hope that that helps. Usually, the order that's most likely to work is going to be when everything is in standard form. So we're going to start with the z cubed, and then I'm going to write the z squared term plus 4z squared. And then I'm going to take the z term minus 3z and then we'll end with the constant term, minus 12, and we're going to try and factor by grouping now. If we look at the first group, z cubed plus 4z squared, we notice that those terms both contain z squared. So we pull out a z squared, and that leaves us with leftovers z plus 4. In the second group, we notice that both of those are divisible by 3, but we want to pull out a negative 3 because we need the leftovers to be positive to match up with the leftovers from the first group. So if we pull out a negative 3, that's going to leave us with z, and then it's going to leave us with plus 4 because negative 12 divided by negative 3 gives us positive 4. And now that we've rearranged things and we've grouped them in this new way, we do have the same thing in each set of parentheses. So each of the groups contains a z plus 4. That becomes the GCF of the groups. And that leaves us with leftovers, z squared minus 3. And this is our final answer, z plus 4 times z squared minus 3.